Whether you're on the 50, 30, 20 budget or want to be, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to build a simple budget builder in Google Sheets that allows you to enter all your expenses and see where you measure up and where you need to adjust. All right, so let's jump right in. The first thing we need is somewhere to record our income. And so I'm just going to resize this first column, just to give us a little buffer so we're not running up here. And then let's just say here, I'm gonna put this income and I'm just gonna put in a number here. So we're gonna add some formatting to this. I'm just gonna pick a color. You can pick whatever colors you want. I'm just gonna do this and then pick white for our font. And then I'm actually gonna just select this whole thing by clicking up here in the upper left. And then I'm gonna pick a font that we're just gonna use across the board. And so now what I'm gonna do is actually add after tax here. So I'm gonna hold down control enter and that creates a new line. And I'm gonna do after tax. So just like that. Now I can set the size here as example and set bold, but maybe I don't want this part bold. So if I double click, select this, undo bold, and then maybe even reduce that size, just like that. There we go. And so I'm gonna go ahead and just copy this format here with paint format and then paint it here. And then I'm just gonna adjust this a little bit. So I'm gonna go down, maybe something like this, change this to black. And then let's go ahead and center this both ways and then maybe change it to a dollar sign so we can decide if we want the decimal places on there or not. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it for now. And then let's go ahead and create our sections. So I'm just gonna copy this, come down a couple rows and we're gonna call this needs and then a couple more spaces, wants and then a couple more spaces and we'll just call this savings. You can call it whatever you like there as well. And so let's go ahead and adjust these colors. So maybe this one will change to this. Once we'll change to maybe orange and this we could change to blue. And then I'm gonna adjust these as well. So let's do that. There we go. So what we need to do is add rows underneath each one of these. I'm gonna insert some rows here. And then we're going to add some things here. So I'm just gonna copy and paste some categories here just so you're not sitting here watching me type these in. So I'm just gonna paste those in there and then get rid of the extra rows. And I'm gonna do the same thing with wants and savings. And then I'm gonna go ahead and remove the rest of these rows here. So I'm just gonna click on this, scroll down to the bottom, hold down shift, click, right click and delete rows. So with these categories, you can shift them around as you need to or rename. And some people split these differently. So for example, utilities, it can be a separate item than housing or you can split them. And sometimes how you split them is different as well. So for example, where would you put electric? So some people put them in utilities, some people put them in housing. So that is your choice. All right, so let's just do a little formatting real quick here. So I'm just gonna select these rows here. And then I'm just going to add this color just to tie it together. And this one I'll do orange. And this one I'll do blue, just like that. Next, what we need to do is we need to, first of all, set our budget. And so maybe we'll do that here. So we'll call this one budget. And then let's, in the next line, do actual and then difference. And so what we're gonna do here, I'm just going to center these real quick and set them to bold. And then I'm gonna paint this format again. So this is to copy the format and then I can just select cells and I'll paint it. And I can go ahead and close this out. And then this budget needs to be 50% of our after tax income. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this, hit equals, and then click on this cell. And then on my keyboard, it's shift eight to get an asterisk and then 0 0.5. And so that gives us our budget. And then for our actual, I'm just gonna do equals sum and then add up those rows. And then for our difference, we're gonna take our budget minus our actual. So currently we have 2,500 remaining. I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste in just an example here for those line items and that zeroes us out. And so let's go to our next one. So we're gonna do the same thing, paint format. 
I'm going to add one more row here and take these budget actual difference and then do the same thing for savings and then paint this format across and then let's do the rest of these. So equals and come up here to income and then this one will be times 0 0.3. And then for our savings equals this times 0 0.2. So there's our budgets, and then let's finish our actuals. Sum, just like that. Difference, budget minus actual. And then here again, sum. And then what I'm gonna show you here in a moment when we finish building this is how to actually get into a little more detail on these if you like to go with more line items. So for example, of housing, if you wanna break that out into rent slash mortgage, or the different utilities there, taxes and gas and electric. But so far we have our basics here. So let me copy in some other numbers here. There is our wants and then a sample budget for savings. And there we go, everything's zeroed out. So one of the things we'll wanna do at the top perhaps is add a amount left. And so I'm gonna do that right here. So all I'm actually going to do is add up these differences. And there we go. And so I'm just going to do a little formatting here. So I'm going to do this. And I'm just going to say maybe left is what we'll call this. And then I can do, maybe we'll do blue like this. And then maybe some borders. So I'm picking this borders here. And then the border color and then a double thick border. I'm gonna do the whole thing. And then bold the font, maybe go a little bit bigger. And then I'm gonna flip this one maybe, maybe go a little lighter, something like that. And then I could even change this to black, unbold it if we need to, something like that. And then let's go ahead and get rid of the rest of these columns real quick. So I'm just gonna click and drag all the way over, right click and delete columns. And then just like the, a column, I'm gonna right click on this one, resize to 20. And then let's go ahead and get rid of these grid lines. So view, show grid lines, just like that. I'm gonna hide the menus just so we have a little more room here. And so maybe I'll just put a little title over here. So monthly budget. And then put this centered here. White, bold, and go a little bigger. There we go. And so let's add some quick borders here now that we got rid of those grid lines. I'm just gonna select this whole thing and then come back here to borders. I'm gonna go to white and then I'm gonna go to single width and then I'm just gonna hit this all borders just to give us a little distinction there. So do the same thing here, click and select. And once you have that real selected there, for the borders, you can just apply it again. And then the same thing down here. That makes it look a little cleaner. Maybe we'll do the same thing here. Perfect. So one thing we may want to add here is some conditional formatting. If this is less than zero, we may want to change the color. And so right click, view more cell actions, conditional formatting. And then what we're gonna do here is if it's less than zero, and then we can set the options here. So maybe we'll change the fill color to none, which means it won't change it. And then we could change this one to red, but I think this one will actually want to change the fill color, maybe something like that. And maybe we could change it to white, just to make obvious, maybe in bold. And then maybe what we can do is copy this again, just to highlight green. And so click on that, add another rule, and then we're just going to flip this around. So greater than equals to zero, and let's change this one to green. So there we go. So if we come back here, change to 750. Now it turns to green. We go 700 maybe. Now we can see that we have 50 left. So one thing that may be helpful as well while you're building this, especially if you have a lot, is you can go over here to the top left. When it turns into a hand, you can click and drag it down here. And then this will remain in place as you scroll down. So if you're kind of finagling with your budget, trying to fine tune those numbers, you can automatically see it right there and see where you're at. All right, so that is the basic version, but I wanna show you just real quick 
how you can modify this to add a lot more flexibility. And so I'm just gonna demo just one part right here. So under housing, I'm going to add some more rows. And so let me go ahead and select, I'm gonna add maybe five rows. So I'm actually selecting these rows below and I'm gonna right click and insert rows above. So at this point, I'm probably going to change the color on this because it's gonna be now a header row for this section. And so I'm just gonna add some example items. So rent or mortgage, maybe we could do something like property taxes and homeowners insurance, or we could say insurance here. And then we could add those items there. So let's say it's 500 and then maybe something like 50 and 150. Now what I'm gonna do here to kind of make this easier to navigate, especially if you add this across the board, is I'm gonna select these, so click and drag down, and then right click, and then under view more row actions, I'm gonna click group rows. So what this allows me to do is simply hide that. And so you can pick and choose. If there's certain ones, maybe groceries, or you don't want a subcategory, you can leave it alone. But then on the other ones, so for example, if transportation, you wanna break that out into car payments and car insurance, you come in here, insert a couple of rows, and again, maybe we'll change this to slightly darker and then click and select these, right click, group rows, just like that, and voila, just like that. So how do we handle the totals though? Because currently this is just summing up these. So what we're gonna do is change these from sum to subtotals. So this one wasn't the sum anyway, it was just the residual of what we had there. So what we can do here is subtotal, and the reason we use subtotal is because I can have a total here and then a total here and they don't interfere. So if I did sum, then it'd be trying to add this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do this, subtotal, and then nine is our sum, and then I can select the range. So you don't have to know how that works, but if you subtotal nine and then select the rows that fall in there, close it out, then you're good. And then we're gonna change this to the same thing. So subtotal nine, comma, and then it can include that entire range, just like that. So let's go ahead and make sure we have the rest in there. So transportation now, and let's say car payment. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just change the rest of these to a little darker too, just to make it easy to tell where we're at in that. So that's utilities, groceries, there we go. And then this one, let's go ahead and change that to subtotal nine and then select our range there perfect and then we could set our car payment there just like that all right so that should give you an idea of how you can add subcategories to break those out and still pull them back in to the main numbers and then see your totals accordingly all right so that is it for today's video you can make a download of the final Google Sheet. So I'm gonna include two versions. One's just gonna be the basic without any of these groupings. And then I'm gonna include a different version on there as well that will include these subgroupings. But I wanted to show you so you know how to build it or modify it on your own. So thanks for watching. Make sure to check out the other videos on our channel for more tutorials on both Google Sheets and AppScript. And as always, have a great day.